Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to have a look at a great little attack that I've been using for the last couple of weeks on and off. It's all around Super Giants. Um, I haven't really used them much in the past, but uh, joined a clan called On Fire recently, and one of their guys completely trashed my base with it. So I thought, quite nice. Here's the 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 makeup of the the army. Uh, eight Super Giants, little wall breaker. Uh, usually use a super wall breaker. Um, some loons and some healers then for a warden walk Pekka and a witch just cut a bit of a funnel uh, then some boulders and some ice golems and then spell composition is whatever you want really but I tend to take jumps and rages uh, I used it in war uh, with dead parrots here uh, we just pipped King NJF clan on percentage but I got a great little three star with it so let's have a look at how we managed to do that one Pretty typical base here, um, look at those multi infernos in the middle, so bowlers you obviously think they're just not going to manage anything against those because they'll get picked off, but start off with the warden walk over at around 2.30, that's going to help cut a little funnel, the key for this attack really is you don't want your kill squad going towards the town hall, you want them moving around the base, clockwise and clockwise, doesn't matter, but we're, you know, you can go into this, uh, especially these sort of almost sy symmetrical base types, you can go in any side at all really, but warden over 2.30, Pekka and then the witch over at 3.30 just to cut a bit of a funnel and then dump everything. All your giants, all your boulders, king, queen, get them all on the map and funnel them straight in to that first compartment. Now we're then going to jump them round into the middle, round to the eagle and carry them the whole way around that base. Yeti blimp in from three, warden ability nice and early to make sure that makes it across to the town hall because that's that's the only purpose for that blimp. You just want to make sure it gets the town hall, get as much of that town hall compartment as possible as well. But other than that, you don't really need it for anything else. Queen is moving into the middle. Now, when I first counted these tiles, I, for some reason I counted four tiles between the uh, inner wall and the inner multi. I thought the queen will get that no problem. Then as soon as I saw her go towards it, I thought, no, she's not going to go anywhere near it. Her ability goes off far too early. But luckily, she then moves away from all the damage and moves down to the rest of the troops. Now, my Royal Champion's already been put in at 5 o'clock. She's just going to fall around behind all those giants, the king, the bowlers, everything else. I mean, how often in a raid are you a minute left and you've still got your king ability and you've still got your Royal Champion ability? Will this attack pretty much all the time? The king ability, you know, is used pretty late and the Royal Champ is for backup now she does do me a little bit of disservice here she does decide to jump out in front of everything and gets far too close to that enemy king but luckily my king ability gets right up on him takes the enemy king out now at this stage the central multi is a little bit of a worry but if you look at it, there's still one two three four there's still four super giants left sorry five super giants left plus all those tiny little barbs from the king which I gotta say, the the new skin for that king, uh, the Ice King, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely one of my favourites, and I love the skins that carry over the the main king look into the the mini barbs. Um, there's only there's only a couple that do that. So, but anyway, nice little three star attack uh, in war. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of other attacks that I did in Legends League. So let's have a look at those. And this first one's a pretty typical Legend League base. We've all seen them. Um, they can be pretty annoying, these little boxy bases, but when I see a song like this, especially with the town hall so exposed, um, I have to warden walk it. Now, with this attack, be mindful that um, it can be very tight on time. So if you are going to warden walk, make sure there's not loads of storages or anything to slow the warden down too much. And I usually normally throw a rage down on the warden as well, just to speed things up. Then, um, the Yeti Blimp can be used for either the 9 o'clock apartment or the 3 o'clock apartment, depends which angle you want to go in. This one, I decided to go in 3 o'clock, because then I'm going to send my troops right up in through at 4 o'clock uh, into that center and wrap them around the base. So Yeti Blimp down, it's taken out the Warden Altar, it's taken out all those defenses, it's just completely destroyed that right hand compartment. Peck and Witch then to set the rest of the funnel. And now it's all about getting the rest of the troops into the base. So, wall breaker is uh, going to get them access into that first compartment, and then just before everything gets dumped down, all in one spot, try and follow it straight through. Um, jump in 
to the core because I'm not going to risk it this time. I want to get that central multi down as quickly as possible. All those loons aren't going to do anything at all. Poison them and the troops will move through them. Warden ability just to be safe really. But then the Royal Champion over at 6.30. She's going to start taking out the left hand compartment for me. And she's going to move around towards that enemy queen. But the enemy queen's getting dragged in towards the super giants anyway. Freeze her up and my bubblers and my king and everything else they're all going to move across they're going to try and take her out so she's not going to be a problem really seems like on this one i had um loads of spells um i didn't actually really need that freeze that i just used um to stop that multi inferno but you know what i had it i didn't really need it leaving the ego last on any base is normally a bit of a worry but like i said previously these Super Giants, just, they just last forever, so it's not really a problem at all. As long as you've got that healer switch, they'll be absolutely fine. And we're in the cleanup. It's as simple as that. Even these horrible little Legend League bases, they're just so easy to take out with this attack. And the final one I want to show you today is one with a Central Town Hall. So this attack does work on those. This attack doesn't go to plan at all, but I'll talk you through it anyway. Warden Walk is normal, over at 3 o'clock. Just trying to cut a funnel so that I can get my troops into that three o'clock compartment. So Pekka, and then the witch uh, to follow up over at between twelve and one. It's not the best funnel in the world, I'll be honest. Um, I still need to get um, uh, something to take out the uh, little pumps over at one thirty, and then I need something to cut the funnel over on the right as well. So it's not perfect, but the wall is open over at three. The super giants decide. To go straight in and plow their way through the base into the core so I've got to react pretty quickly on this one everything gets dumped down in behind them anyway so they're all following through now at this point I'm thinking I don't really want my bowlers and everything else to work its way in so that town hogs the poison will completely destroy them so let's get the blimp in there as quickly as possible hopefully that'll take out everything in that core before the bowlers and everything get to it so I try and jump around to the right hand side but just my luck the bowlers decide to follow everything through and towards town hall so at this point a little bit nervous because everything looks like it's dying off and the only strong troops i've got left really are my heroes now i still got my king ability queen ability and my rc is literally just been dropped over on the right to start moving around in a clockwise direction to take out that compartment down at six o'clock and then work its way around the king doesn't quite make it to that single inferno over at 10 o'clock so that's left standing but I still have a few troops walking around Coco Loons that I uh, didn't get a chance to drop uh, have come down so they've helped out a little bit they're moving around just taking out a few defences and the Queen in the core is doing an absolutely fantastic job she's found that jump spell working her way around to, to take out that single inferno and she's just got basically no health left and saves her ability which is absolutely brilliant still got a super giant left up to help the queen out but the base is completely trashed all the defenses were basically around that core compartment and got destroyed nice and early so as you can see from legend league bases through to war bases through to these central town hall bases this attack works really well so give it a go let me know how you got on in the comments whether you managed to get some decent three stars with it or whether you had to tweak it to suit your own needs be really interested to see those but guys that is it for another video thank you so much for stopping by so if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bad Style Gaming.